today on the show, it's my top 10 favorite comics 2014! So I read a lot of comic books in 2014. I uh, read a lot of different types of comic books. Did you read every comic book ever made? I did not read every comic book in 2014. Oh. Uh, that's, that's a lot of dough. Some authority source you are. It's a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about my top 10 of the year. What's really exciting about 2015 is that all of these comics I'm gonna tell you about today are probably in trade paperback form. Most of them, there may be a couple that may not have trade paperbacks yet. This top 10 best comics of the year video is split into three parts. So here we go with part one. Number 10 best comic book. Silver Surfer by Dan Slott, illustrated by Mike Allred. What's it about? This comic book is about the Silver Surfer and Don Greenwood and their adventures together in the cosmos. Uh, it's very Doctor Who, is a Marvel Doctor Who, so if you're into that whole thing, you may wanna check this out. Uh, they go on these kind of adventures, like single issue adventures. So if you're a new reader, this is a really great comic to get into because you can just read one issue and usually have everything you need to know there. There's a couple that go like two issues, but most of the time it's just one. There's a lot of cool characters that show up too. You got Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Hulk. They finally made Silver Surfer not so stuffy and fucking lame anymore because he's always like the Shakespearean guy who's heartbroken all the time. He's just like, oh my gosh, I just want to get back to Zen Law. And then like he can't. And so it just gets old and tired. And now he's moving on because he's found a girl and they're falling in love and it's just so cute. So why did you like it so much? The artwork for one, I'm a big Mike Allred fan, but also just because it's just so much fun. Like they just go have fun and have adventures and you see these like weird aliens and stuff and it's just fun. Number nine, best comic. Sandman Overture, written by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by J.H. Williams III. Uh, this Sandman. comic book, yes, yes, it is based, uh, it is the new Sandman comic. It's been a long time. Sandman has not had any comics in a while. That doesn't look very much fun. Look how brown it is. Oh my gosh, you're so wrong, robot. You wanna know why you're so wrong? The artwork in this friggin' comic will blow your mind, okay? J. H. Williams III, if you're not familiar with him, I'm not. is fucking ridiculous, okay? Like, Never just the artwork alone. This could be written in French and I would buy it, okay? Like, it's just so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous that only three issues of it came out this year because it takes them a really long time to do an issue, but rightly so. It's worth the wait. This story is not only about good artwork, it's also about good storytelling. And we have the titular character of Sandman. He's back and he's gonna deal with some problems. The universe might be ending pretty soon and so he's gonna try to fix that because he feels like it was his fault because of some dreamer business he had going on uh, it's not completely clear yet but man i love it why do you like it so much like this is the thing all right it's fucking neil gaiman you know the story is gonna be good i have no doubts in my mind that this is gonna go somewhere and it's gonna be fucking amazing okay because that's just how this guy works and also, not only that, I love the Sandman cat that's in here that's hanging out with him. I love the Sandman flower that I saw. Uh, I just, so rich. So is the guy made of sand or what? No, he's not made of sand. He's like- Then, then it's a lie. <laughs> I'm not reading that. He's not- Next, he's next not, comic. It's not the Spider-Man villain. Number eight, best comic in America. Number eight. Ghost Rider, written Ghost by Rider. Philippe Smith and drawn by Trad Moore. Isn't that like really old? Yes, Ghost Rider uh, first appeared in 1972. Uh, he's known as Johnny Blaze. He sold his soul to Satan, although we found out that it's Mephisto, in order to you know gain these powers to get vengeance, uh, where he can turn into a flaming skeleton head. Uh -huh. That's old. This is new. All new Ghost Rider. You got an all new guy, Robbie Reyes. He is a teen and he's working at some mechanic places in East LA. Uh, he's the newest ghost writer because he borrowed this really sweet charger from his mechanic shop and he went and did some street racing in LA and then he was end up murdered because the car had a bunch of fucking illegal pill things in them. And then now he has been possessed by the ghost of Eli Morrow and he's back for vengeance with his flaming head. Who is he getting vengeance on? Just, he's trying to clean up the streets, man, okay? He's got this developmentally challenged little brother and he lives in this shitty part of LA and so he's just trying to like get by, figure out his new powers uh, and make a better life for himself and his brother. 
catch on fire a lot? He does catch on fire a lot. And there's so much awesome action in this comic book. I love the artwork so much. I've been following Trad Moore for years now. He used to work on uh, Luther Strode, and now he's doing this. His style has so much energy to it. And so when you see like Ghost Rider and he's got his chain and he's like, Wow, like hitting people with it. It's just so cartoonish and so much fun and there's so much energy. Like the, the amount of energy that's in this comic is like, kind of reminds me of the, the energy that was in Jim Lee drawings in the 90s. You know, it's kind of got that just really over the top fun comic book action going on. And this style isn't necessarily appropriate for all comics, but it's definitely appropriate for this story. There's so much weirdness going on and people with forearms and cholos and it's just living in LA. I really enjoy seeing all the backgrounds and all the character drawings and stuff that's going on because there's just so many like LA types in this comic that I love. But side note, Tradmore only works on the first arc, one through five, Engines of Vengeance. So you can pick this up. I'm still gonna keep reading it even though my favorite artist isn't on it. He's going back to Luther Strode, which is totally fine because I love Luther Strode. And yeah, he left behind a really amazing, awesome new design for Ghost Rider with a really cool skull helmet face and an awesome fucking new car. So yeah, read it. This video will continue in part two of my top 10 best comics of the year. Uh, next up, we have Wicked and the Divine, Saga, and Sex Criminals. What's up, my beautiful babies? Bet you didn't know I had a playlist of some hot, hot, hot jams on Slacker Radio. You can check out my I Am The DJ session in the links below and get to dancing. Hey guys, you still got 11 months to use the Comic Book Girl 19 Magic Sexy Cosplay Calendar now on sale at comicbookgirl19.com for free shipping in the United States. If you like this video, be sure to give us the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr for all your Khufu updates, needs, and wants.